Okay, so we're going to talk, we're going to do podluck now. Uh, and so for this, this was uh, Kylie Jenner. Kylie Jenner alleges that Tyga claimed Black China slashed him with a knife. So this is one of those cases where it's like, but it is in the news because the Kardashians are such a force within media. So it says the 24-year-old billionaire took the stand on Monday after China is asking for damages in the millions in her lawsuit against the Kardashians. So it says Kylie Jenner took the stand in court on Monday and made a serious claim about black China. China is battling it out in court with the Kardashians over a $100 million defamation lawsuit that she filed in 2017. Uh, she claimed uh, China, 33, claims a coup by the Kardashians clan uh, was plotted against her. They wanted to get her show with uh, Rob Kardashian canceled, uh, Rob and China. Uh, Jenner, 24, testified that her ex-boyfriend, Tyga, claimed that Black China slashed him with a knife, uh, which left around a six-inch scar on his arm. Uh, China's lawyer, Lin Siani, uh, asked Jenner to demonstrate to the jury how the long scar was on her own arm. Uh, so she asked her to, to demonstrate that. It says, Jenner, who, who dated the rapper for three years, claimed that during their relationship, Tyga explained that China had allegedly abused alcohol and drugs during their relationship, which led to the violent act. So, uh, I mean, it's not uncommon for people who are uh, in, a, in a rough patch uh, to react violently, to, especially when they mix chemicals. So that's completely within the, the realm of believability. And let's to me. acknowledge that Black Tyga, or Tyga the, the, and Black China have a child together that he has primary custody of. Yes, uh, that, was, that was shocking to me when I saw that. Uh, so it says, Jenner pointed out China's alleged violent past to show why she was a little bit concerned when her brother, Rob Kardashian, started a relationship with her. Uh, the, the Kylie Cosmetics founder noted to the jury that she and Tyga tried to warn Rob about China's alleged past, but he insisted on going on moving forward. So it's like all the red flags, uh, all the red flags were there and like uh, he just sped right past him. He didn't really care. Uh, does this fall into that same category of uh, is, are, is, is she going to be held to a different standard uh, than a guy would in that cir in that circumstance. Do you mean uh, held to a different standard by Rob? By or? by society. Okay, the court of public opinion. Yes. Uh, I think how the court reacts to this is sort of you know not to put too much pressure on what's going on in the Kardashian world, but you know it is an indication of how we're evolving to understand like toxic partnerships. Um, this and I, Depp are both examples of that. It's not just one person. It's that both it's people that together uh, are, sure. are not, do not mix well together. Yeah. And I think that I don't know that she'll be held to a different standard. I mean, it is notable that like she has two children that she does not have primary custody. Which of. makes a good argument to the counter that maybe it isn't as unfair as somebody might. Well, or that there is already an established pattern of behavior that the yeah. court is aware of that like maybe this article isn't getting into right yeah. um you know this isn't coming out of nowhere this is not her first time having to deal with these situations it seems like mm -hmm. and i'm not sure how they'll treat her i is rob gonna get called to testify uh, i don't know if he's gonna be called to testify at this trial it didn't say anything in this article about that because I would be interested here. He hasn't been there, yep. as far as I know. So uh, I just, I wonder if this will signal some type of, because like, I was shocked when I found out that she did not have primary custody of, of the child. Sh shared custody, Yeah, right? that sh shared custody at all. So does this signify that maybe, you know, for, for uh, as much as people would like to complain that women, uh, that you'd hear people complain that, like, you know, she would be able to get away with more than him. Uh, maybe that's not true. She right? must have displayed some very worrying behavior not to happen because well and there's a producer who uh, i guess the uh i don't know what it was he's the former executive vice president of development for e which had their show he testified during this that like yes the girls like two of the sisters reached out and said like we are concerned about this relationship we do not really want you to proceed with the show because we think that it encourages it and whatever but he's like it didn't weigh in on my decision because the romance of their relationship was gone which means that like probably it was very open that there were problems between the two of them i don't think it was a secret ever yeah um and i would be interested if rob would testify and say like yes i was happy when the show was over if they hadn't canceled it I would not have taken part in it, you know, yeah. to hear what his perspective on this is, because then it's not like, oh, yeah, I got my sisters to cancel her show. It's like, no, every party who was professionally involved in the show was unhappy with how it was going, yep. except for Black China. So I, I just uh, their, their whole world is such a 
<laughs> I don't know how they keep up with it, to be completely honest. But we'll we'll have to see where that goes. I I am more fascinated by just how uh, how this is playing out because it was almost more interesting than me than to than Depp and Heard because the Depp and Heard one has been covered so so heavily. But I, I don't know if either party really looks good. Like in this part, there there's this uh, the back and forth between uh, Black China's lawyer and uh and kylie and it says that it says uh how could you wish your brother the best when he was in it with a woman who allegedly slashed your boyfriend's arm she asked uh, i don't recall actually saying that kylie re replied uh kylie says it says kylie who said that taiga had told her he never intended to marry china first met china when they were on a walk with his sister kim i would not have considered us friends she told the court when siani that was the lawyer uh asked if she felt any animosity toward china kylie responded i don't know so it's like uh it's like how do you like how do they prove defamation in the in this case like why just because they lost money um, just because black china lost money on on the yeah, show yeah so defamation's legal defamation definition includes like your reputation was damaged in a way that prevented you from uh like one of the ways is making money and so like if being on this reality tv show was her job and it got canceled because they intentionally convinced the network to cancel it mm -hmm. like then that would maybe meet the definition of defamation uh, in this case, it seems like the network is indicating that they did not want to renew the show, so it was going to get lost anyways. And I think that happened with a couple other Keeping Up with the Kardashian spinoffs, like uh, Chloe and Lamar, when they had their own. I think it was on for maybe two seasons, but then it ended. Yeah. Um, it's not actually unreasonable that these minor characters in the Kardashian in the Kardashian multiverse the, in the, <laughs> yes. not be that that's, like exciting. That's a multiverse I will engage with actually. Yeah. So. You know. So we get like an alternate uh, Courtney. Like there's a there's a there's one where she ends up with where well, where but Courtney ends up with Kanye rather than rather than I Kim. think people think she would end up with Scott Disick because yes. they're like buddies. But there was like keeping up with the Kardashians, and then it was like Courtney and Chloe take Miami, and then they took somewhere else, and then <laughs> that one got married, and then you know there have been like and then uh. One of them had like a workout show, I think. Like there have been sort of other things going on. It is there. a multiverse. It is right. literally a multiverse. They just don't always last forever. Yes. All right. Did Did you see this thing about Britney Spears' pregnancy announcement? I thought she'd already announced it. No, it, it they was just, just announced an their announcement. marriage before, right? No, she said she was pregnant before. It was sort of a soft launch of the <laughs> fact that she's married, <laughs> the, she, and then testing so the is, waters so for. She, a... she is legally married. So it says Britney Spears announces she will be going on a social media hiatus after uh, for a little a while, after. a month after revealing she's pregnant with her third child. So she's doing the smart thing, right? She's yeah. like, OK, uh, I do not need to be on this platform all the time. She's just giving people a heads up this time. And she's done it a couple times. Yeah. She's like, I'm like when they got engaged, I think she was like, I'm going to celebrate this guy. So yep. we're leaving. I didn't realize how long they had been together. They've yeah. been together for like. I think over a decade. Oh, I didn't know that long. I, th I thought somebody... I, I could thought... be wrong. I think they've been... I'll look it if up they've now. been together for over a decade, that's worrying because he's only 27. <laughs> Maybe not, but they've been together for... I think I, I want to say more than five years. I, I, I thought... Okay. I saw somewhere it was like five or six years, but a decade... Like... Yeah, if he, if he was 17 at the time, that's a problem. Yeah, not that. <laughs> but like... They've been together for a lot longer than I would have expected for whatever reason. Yep. So it's, it says uh, less than 24 hours after telling fans she would not be posting for a while. She uploaded a video of an old video of herself with her People's Choice Award, which she earned as a recipient for the Social Star of 2021 back in December with a brief farewell message. Jeez, I forgot to post this a while ago. Before I go on Instagram hiatus, I want to thank my rockin' badass amazing fans for voting for my People's Choice Award. The toxic hit maker can, uh, captioned a video, captioned a video of herself holding her award in her living room she really does like i love the kind of boomer nature of her social media love that she it's, says i'm giving reese witherspoon in the dress 100 yeah. she's telling her like she's she, telling she, you she knows she looks how to do good. this thing yeah uh, i i love that like it, every time she posts like i imagine like she like when she types she does like this and like, mm -hmm. like, like when she types and she hits send her reading glasses yeah <laughs> she puts it and then she goes and she hits send with a big like button push mm -hmm. like I, I just i love it it's it's so to me it's so like know. innocent in a weird way okay she and sam have been together since uh 2016 it's believed they started dating at the end of 2016 so like six years that's a long time that's a long time Especially for yeah. someone who's at a conservatorship yeah really cool. he he stuck it out with her so in the clip she can be seen thrusting the award it's... between legs while rocking a knee length red and white polka dot dress <laughs> oh. uh, these videos are just disturbing i'm sorry like that's you're not a fan no i don't even think it's like funny to laugh at 
She she does seem very like she seems just unstable. Like it's not funny. It's well, weird. We will see where it goes. But she, I mean, she could maybe she was always that eccentric, and you just never saw that side of her because she was, uh, you know, it was this more carefully not, curated. You're just Something, doing that thing where you call a rich person eccentric. I love okay? it. They're, they're, they're not. They're, they're not rich. Like, Brett wants to believe the best in everyone. Like maybe she, she's, she's okay. She's it's just, just like, like a expressing severe herself. lack of like. Uh, awareness of how other people perceive your behavior it, and like this is disturbing uh, or that she just doesn't care uh I, it, maybe that I has its own consequences that, that like it's just it depends on why you don't care yep. do you not care because you're like a grounded person and you enjoy what you enjoy or do you not care because you just straight up don't understand social yeah. interaction anymore and you're like mentally uh, detached from reality. That could be it too. Well, no, I, I don't know if we'll ever know the answer. I don't know if don't we'll know. ever know the answer to that question. These, these videos are just... It, it would be a weird. It, I mean, it would be a big, uh, a big uh, reveal if one day we found out that the conservatorship was actually totally warranted, and like she kind of, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, uh, it's very easy to paint the narrative one way or the other, but we I mean, find someone out someone being mentally ill isn't a reason to have a conservatorship. No. Only if they cannot take care of themselves. And conservatorships are typically supposed to last, like I think. A six months at max that's maybe built a into year. it yeah yeah so like it's like to help someone who is struggling get back on track yep. mm -hmm. which is like not how hers ended up in mm -hmm. my opinion and then she didn't get back on track so like so nothing productive was the came point? in 13 <laughs> years in fact she worked the whole time she it's not like yeah. it's not like she and took was time like, off weirdly to... isolated she was like kept away from her finances it sounds like like she's not able to develop independent skills of like managing the money she was socially isolated which might be the reason she's so awkward now yeah like yeah i think they didn't do it amanda Bynes, whose conservatorship is ending like lives in a women's facility like a not like a support community it's yeah. not like jail or anything but like it sounds like they are like helping her cultivate and her family's helping her right uh, whereas like deal. her dad kept her isolated but working but also like she wasn't allowed to make any of her own decisions she has no autonomy like it is kind of a lot to be like okay now you're in charge of everything no wonder that she's like i'm Especially pregnant and now i'm sounds. getting married and actually i'm going up like mm -hmm. i it's like a it's like a teenager who suddenly like released into the world having never had any sense of freedom yeah. or responsibility before yep especially within the state her like as large as hers, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. all right, you know who could be using a conservatorship is whoever's doing Kim Kardashian's Photoshop work because, oof, did you see this one? <laughs> Kim. <laughs> I think she does her own, right? Uh, I, this, see, that's what I want to think. I want to think that she's like every time she takes a picture, it, it goes automatically to the cloud, and she gets on her on, on her laptop, and she just starts photoshopping away. Or she can just do it on the phone apps, like everyone, yep. all the social media people do. Yeah, well, I like the idea that Kim Kardashian can't Maybe, settle for okay. for, fo for Photoshop <laughs> on a phone; that she needs to do it on a computer to to make it look perfect. Maybe she just doesn't. Or maybe her belly button just sits lower than other people's. I, I have no idea. I, I wasn't able to. She I, doesn't have one. She's gotten it taken away in all I, of her surgeries. I did. <laughs> I, I did say I was like, what if like they're like she just wore like a like a, a press on belly button. If you get enough tummy tucks, it you will not have a, a belly button anymore. Is that way. true? That is a tr fact. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. So it says another day, another Photoshop fail for Kim Kardashian. Didn't we just go through? Wasn't one of them having like photoshopped their kid at Disney World? Yeah. Who, which one was that? Chloe. Well, Courtney. Courtney. Yeah. Chloe. Chloe. Which one? The right? one who's not dating Travis Scott. Okay. Travis, Travis Scott? Barker. Travis Barker. Because <laughs> Kylie was with Travis Scott. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's so, too many people. Yep. There's too many Kardashians. It says underneath a microscope this time. It the is The one that's dating that basketball player that's always cheating on her. That's the one who photoshopped her <laughs> kid. <laughs> Uh, so it says uh, uh, the the Skims founder standing poolside dressed in her fits for everybody scoop neck bra and pan <laughs> so it says uh, when fans gave the picture their eagle eyed vision they noticed Kim forty one does not appear to have a belly button you forgot to leave in your belly button one commenter wrote <laughs> where on earth is her belly button like <laughs> how like can you imagine like somebody who with the with the eagle eye for her like uh for like her persona but then she's like like who who edited this and then like i imagine her like that person got fired right after this i i don't know if she necessarily would have done this herself this is the prettiest picture i've ever seen of her since she was young wrote one fan so naturally pretty uh, i don't know if it naturally pretty is really the best way to describe her but she's yeah. very, very pretty she has paid well, a lot she, of money she was already naturally pretty yes. which yeah. is why this is so confusing she's very i i still think she's very very pretty but i i don't i i, I 
looks like Photoshop to me. So we'll, we'll see what that, it was Chloe. It says, it says uh, they're, they're referring to the one where they edited her picture yeah. into like the, well, they could have at least just Photoshopped a, a, some stranger's belly button on <laughs> instead. Uh, like stitched it out of another photo and, and then just stitched it in. Yeah. Like they just don't even know what real bodies look like anymore. It didn't occur to them that like there's supposed to be a belly button there. I do like the idea. She's like, belly, what's a belly button? And she had to like go look it up online. <laughs> She's like literally an alien. <laughs> like what i didn't i hatched from an egg i don't understand <laughs> you never know so uh i, I now i kind of want to start keeping like a tally counter of like all the photoshop fails in, in kardashian land and maybe it's start, gonna like, be a lot it, we'll, we'll we'll see where that goes <laughs> well and they also like just kind of ignore them and move on like yeah, they're just which they don't they shrink again don't don't speak don't learn it. and grow shrink, shrink and, forget. and forget that's what the kardashians say all of them. All of them are telling you that you do not learn and grow because you don't mean it when you say you want to learn and grow. You're being should disingenuous. Should minimize and forget? Or should it be shrink and forget? Thanks for watching this clip, guys. If you want to see full episodes or follow us on social media, links are in the description below. Bye. Bye.